Hi, the Magic Dragonfly here with the Boom Beach video. And today I thought we'd just take a quick look at uh, one of the bases that our task force has taken down in today's daily operation. Our task force are doing curtain call today, so that's the second hardest operation that there is behind Dead End. And we're going to look at the base Commodore. And today we took it down in two attacks in a pretty much textbook way. So we're going to have a look at how we did that. So our first attack was by a task force member, White Knight, and he opened it up by using level 15 tanks and level 11 medics, both maxed, five landing crafts with tanks on, three landing craft with medics. So let's take a look at Commodore. We'll let his attack run and we'll explain the base and talk at the same time. So machine guns at the front. Tanks, obviously, the perfect thing to take machine guns down. The key to Commodore is to get rid of the rocket launchers and the shock launchers. There are five rocket launchers that we have to worry about today, the two at the front and the three on the left-hand side. As you just saw, he's using some barrage to take down the third of those rocket launchers up the left-hand side, backed up by some artillery. And he's heading in on the front and he's shocking away to keep the shock launchers and the rocket launchers quiet where he can. And he's already taken a couple down. He's going to take that shock launcher on the right. He's using some smoke to make sure that his medics all stay alive and don't get killed by those rocket launchers on the left. The reason you have to take the rocket launchers on the left hand side down is that when we attack later on down the right hand edge, if those rocket launchers are still there, then they're firing in on troops from the side. And if you're using Zookas or Grenadiers, those rocket launchers can absolutely decimate those type of troops. So it's key to take those rocket launchers out in the first attack. We're just going to speed it up to times four now. So he's taking out the machine guns. He's heading left. He's going to get rid of that cannon. He's just flared to that cannon. And then he's going to move in again, take out another rocket launcher and a shock launcher. And then he will finish off taking out that final rocket launcher on the left hand side. And then all the stuff that can kill very low health troops is gone. So, a fantastic attack, a absolutely tremendous first attack. We then move on to our task force member, Heafy, and he's attacking with level 10 grenadiers and level 11 medics. Let's have a look at what he does. We'll speed it up to times two. He's going to land on the right-hand side and head down the right-hand edge. To be honest, he probably doesn't need the medics. He probably could have gone with all grenadiers, but hey, he chose to send some medics as well. The big advantage of Grenadiers is obviously that they have a very, very long attack range. And if you're fighting against weapons like cannons or flamethrowers, which have a short range, you can pretty much stand there and just throw and throw and throw. Uh, and you're out of their range. They can't get at you. In this case, he's dropped, just dropping some shocks on where he needs to, just to make sure that there's actually nothing that can get him. So all the front defences have gone, all the cannons have gone, most of the flamethrowers. He's flared across to the right-hand wall and he needs to get that boom cannon down pretty quickly. So he's shocking that boom cannon just to make sure that it's not firing because that obviously is in range of his grenadiers. And once that's down, he'll flare across to the right-hand side again and then he'll be out of range of everything. So there we go, he's flared across to the right. We'll just speed it up to times four. He's in on the headquarters, uh, he's dropped a bit of extra barrage in. Grenadiers, massively inaccurate, throwing all over the place, but plenty of stuff hitting the headquarters. So it is going down, uh, and he's had plenty of time, and he hasn't lost any troops at all. Or one or two Grenadiers, maybe. Great attack, though. So, level 110 Commodore, Commodore, textbook way of taking it down in two attacks. If you thought this video was interesting, please give me a like and thanks for watching.